High intensity light rays basically are gonna cause shadows because the more intense the light is, the more shadows you, you do. But then the light source can be so big that the light source size itself illuminates the shadow side of her face too. Basically, light coming from the edges end up reaching this out of her face. When you're trying to add light and freeze movement, you're gonna need you're gonna need more power. Absolutely, you're gonna need more power. Yeah. But if they're standing still, you don't need pro photos or any of that stuff. You you just use your speed light. In fact, one speed light could have done this job. In the sides, look at her cheek. How it just goes to darkness. You see that? So use the diffuser, bend the light a little bit, bounce the light, bounce it back towards her. You basically want this frame to be right over the camera frame. B, and this is gonna be A. So A is gonna be the main light, B will be the environmental light. and it will require no equipment except for a flash and a, and a, and a basic diffuser. I mean, this workshop has been phenomenal because concepts that I learned in a book, when I actually had to practically apply it, was just, it wasn't as simple as I thought it was gonna be when I read it, but Roberto was right there to answer any question, to expound upon stuff that maybe I didn't understand fully in the book and to explain it in an even more simple manner. We got to walk around, break up into groups, and help each other out and learn. He forced us into um, to challenge ourselves to go into different setups that we wouldn't naturally comfortably do. And wow, I'm just so excited. So it's darker in this side of the wall than it is on that side of the wall. So that actually automatically should tell you, go shoot over there if that's indeed what your creative vision is. I'm really excited to really start using my speed lights in a different way. I remember the first time I bought a speed light, put it on my camera, and I was like, I hate this, this looks awful. Um, so just seeing how to use those tools to shape and create um, the light in the picture and really use it to, to paint in the picture and create the mood that you want, that's, I'm really excited to get home and do that. Yeah.